So yeah, you were, so it was what, it was a dinner after the talk? Yeah, it was a dinner after the talk, after after everything went down. Um, and this is at uni- a university? Yeah, at the university. I don't know if you want to say University of Gust- Gust- Davis. It, well, I don't know. I don't care. I, 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 know, I know I respect those people, and they're good people. They, they mean well. They uh-huh. have good intentions. Uh-huh. You know, they just a little misinformed, you know, a little mixed up. So you're all having dinner. We're, we're having dinner. <laughs> we're sitting around and, and having dinner, and, and it's at the, at the dean's house on campus. So we're, we're eating dinner, enjoying it. You know, these are these are this upper echelon of white society. We're talking about the people that run this corporate, this institution that that was established in 18 something something mm-hmm. or other. You know, and and, and um, people that you know, they, like the, the like this dean. He's 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 retired, but he came out of retirement to take this job because you know he he, he anyways, and they they feel important. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? so. For me, it's like I'm sitting there watching, listening to these, listening to this conversation there, and then, and they, and Kent, you know, rightly so, is getting the respect he deserves, the accolade, the the the, the, the attention, but at the same time, they're asking him questions like, you know, they're asking him questions. It's like questions you would ask an Indian person. You know? So, so, it's the, like so those, they're asking him about Indian culture, Indian life, Indian society. He's their he's their, he's their portal. He's he he serves as the as the the, the portal for. They're, 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 um, you know, that's, 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 that's their direct line of communication to Indian country. So, so, so they're asking the white guy in the room all these questions about yeah. Indians when there's an Indian sitting there at the <laughs> yeah, table yeah, yeah. and they're not asking you. No, it's, 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 it's you know, it, it pissed me off really. Like, for a second, I'm like, oh, this is, this is, this is, this is interesting. And, it, you know, like, like they're asking him, like, so, and so, what about this? Or what about this elder? And, you know, what about the, asking him all these questions, just random, simple questions, like, it's like questions you would, you know, uh, 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 if, 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 it's like, it's I'm almost starting to feel like an alien, you know, <laughs> like, but, you know, Ken, Ken is, Ken's, you know, he's very, you know, he's, he's, he's a very conscious person, he's very coherent, you know, so it's like for him sitting there, you know, he can't help but think about me sitting over there. Oh yeah, you know, he, he, like, he, like, he's, he's so like, gonna get the dynamics. He's, you know, he's, so he's sitting there. That. He's like, he's like, well, you know, he's like, well, we have a, <laughs> well, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm like sitting over there, and the, and the, and, the, and the president is looking at him and listening to him, but at the same time, he's kind of, kind of, like, uh, I wouldn't say ignoring Kent mm-hmm. in the, in the way that he was saying, uh, you got somebody right here, but he more so like. He, he was he, he was restructuring his questions uh-huh. in a way that he could still ask them to Kent and still have Kent be that that portal, you know. So it's like it, it, it's a funny thing because yeah. there's, there's this you know guy out in LA who's a blogger and whatever, and he he blogs a lot about you know appropriation of Indian culture and misrepresentation of Indian culture, and you know he's and he's. You know, always having a go at anything that, you know, on TV or whatever that depicts things in a in a negative light or in any kind of light. And he was flown to some place to to give a talk on that subject. And he's a white guy. So the funny thing is, this institution is hiring somebody to talk about how native culture is appropriated by white society through the media and misrepresented. So they hire a white guy to fly out to talk about it. Whereas in Indian country, there's a hell of a lot of people. Who could have gone there and, and given the same talk, you know? Saying that, the moment anyone hires really? me to fly in and talk about my documentary or, or my experiences or whatever else, I'm perfectly happy to do it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know as long as I as long as I don't have to hitch to get there, I'm I'm up for it. Well, you could talk about those things. You have a resume. So you <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's the thing. I mean, it's it, it is sort of that thing where you know what one of the things that I find kind of interesting is that you have you have some of these people that are you know they have a default complaint mode, and I think that the reality is that there's a lot of stuff in between, and you know when you get the sort of whole bullshit about you know I mean the Lone Ranger movie for example we haven't seen yet. We have no idea where it's going to be a masterpiece or a piece of crap. But there's so many people getting their knickers in the twist over it. And, you know, the, so, what, what gets me about it is that people are so upset about this film, which at most culturally speaking is broad entertainment. 
and yet I haven't heard any of those people really go after something like bury my heart at Wounded Knee, which for me is far more damaging because people are watching it as this is, you know, the reality that this was a very authentic piece and whatever else. And I'm watching bury my heart at Wounded Knee, thinking this director has never hung out around Indians, you know, and and I'm seeing all these portrayals and. You know, they're all falling within so many of the generic portrayals. Um, and I'm thinking, why aren't you having to go at that? You know, because the problem is that, that that's creating a fundamental impression of Indian country, whereas the chances are, you know, Tonto people are going to look at it, well, it's Johnny Depp in his latest creation. You know, people aren't looking at it as, is this going to be culturally spot on? You know what I mean? So, you know, to me, when I hear people do that and they don't go after something like Bury My Heart, it makes me think they're only kind of half in the culture. They're not understanding. You know what I mean? I think, I think what, 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 what gets people is, 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 you know, we're not really thinking when they, when they, when they go and attack something like that, you know, it's like even, even. Even if they're, even if they, even if like somebody has the place to attack something like that, like say like that movie had something that was directly offensive to the culture, mm. you know, and they could they could you know uh, specify what it was or or, or you, know, um, you know point out something in particular, but if it's just picking on it because it doesn't seem accurate in, in, in their perception of reality, you know, it's like really, like, what, how, how, how are you going to say it's real or not real, but I think it's more so has to do with the race thing, because people are pissed off that Johnny Depp is playing this character, mm-hmm. and he's not recognized as an Indian person, but for me, it's like, I look at it like, okay, well, um, you have to look at what the, what the story is about, and what they're trying to portray, and how they're doing it. And think about it, really think about it, because somebody who's pissed off about this this film being culturally inaccurate, <laughs> what are they really getting pissed off about, you know? What are they really, you know, because if, it's, if, they're, if they're not going to put anything sacred in the film, if they're just going to put in, people playing Indians and Indians, you know, it's like you could portray human beings any way you want them to, to be, you know, it's like... But 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 for like people that are, are picking on these things, you got to recognize these people that, within themselves. Like, what are these? How do they? Okay, what are they identifying with, and how are they? And why why are they identifying with with what they what they see as uh, their perception? Mm-hmm. And 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 why are they getting mad about this? Okay, so if they're gonna get mad about this, then 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 what gives them what gives them that? That, that that right to, 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 to go and pick on something that they that they're they're not fully informed about. Mm-hmm. It's like and that comes down to people not thinking clearly as they can, thinking about uh, things, you know, it's like it's about where you're gonna put your energy. It's so 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 to me so to me when people bitch and whine about those kinds of things, really it's a waste it's they're wasting their energy. Because mm. you know, they're not gonna accomplish anything by but, uh, but also one of the things that grabs me is that when they when they're all having their dig at Depp, I mean to me they're some of them are just trying to do box office by even getting on the bandwagon, because I haven't when I've gone through some of the things that some of those people have written, I've never seen them go after Depp for because it's not the first time he's played an American Indian in the film, The Brave, which was the only film he's ever directed, and he put more on the line to get that film made than any other film he's ever been involved in because anyone you know, who's acted and then directs knows that the directing is a far, far, far deeper commitment. And he made that commitment with a film that was set in Indian country. And, you know, and none of these people had an issue with that because it was a film that was unsuccessful and it was under the radar and whatever else. So there's no box office for them to get their knickers in the twist. But I think it's, you know, it's also that thing where, you know, if it's a sort of playing on the stereotype of the savage or whatever else or you know then you know to me that's where it gets really quite distasteful but 
when there's something that's a kind of a broad entertainment, I mean, one of the things that gets me about when people started going after Depp for that first photos that came out, and people are calling it the Flying Nun and all those sorts of things. Well, you know, one of the things that people complain about is any period film with an American Indian in it is that it's the same stereotypical cultural depiction. You know, it's the feathers in the hair and, you know, basically the iconic stuff of the Plains Indian. And so here's Depp who's created somebody using a lot of, you know, certain cult, you know, certain influences out there, but he's gone and said, this is a character, this is a distinct individual character. And that's what we should be wanting. We should, you should be wanting to see people that are individuals on screen. And I can't, you know, I struggle to recall, you know, any film in Indian country where you, you really saw characters as individuals. I mean, even Dances with Wolves, which started having, you know, it was like, well, they all have distinct, they all have different personalities. They're not all the same generic Indian. But you have the nice one, and then you have the the mean one who becomes nice. You know, so they're, they're still kind of, you know, they're... But, just trying to say, hey, look, these are human beings. Yeah, but it's, yeah, <laughs> you know, but they're still not overly rich. You know, overly, um, you know, complex. So, eh. But you know, the other thing is that, I, and I understand the, you know, things with, when so much in the past with cultural depictions and all those things, and I understand why there's a lot of wanting things to be done right, and 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 in particular the kind of, the kind of way that that Hollywood has helped. You asshole! You're the, just shy. The, the, you're really shy. <laughs> you're, you're, you're American now, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but the, 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 you know, I know what Hollywood did in terms of perpetuating racism and all those other things. But you think of, if you think of a, a, a Scots person, what, what's the first four, five things you think about somebody Scottish? I think of like trees and green shit and kilts and bagpipes and. <laughs> you <know that>? Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you think of kilts, haggis, bagpipes. And little, and little crosses with a circle around it. You know, about halfway uh, through, yeah, one of them. Yeah, on but a, that's on a, a, on a, on a, on like a, on like a, 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 a piece of steel that's but dyed that, in a piece of wood or something. You yeah, know, but, like, but that's like, I think, I think medieval yeah. shit. I think medieval yeah. shit. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but the thing is, they're total cultural stereotypes. And, and the thing is that you think of every nation around the world that's not your own. It's like, you know, what do you think? You know, Austria, you think of Lederhosen and Switzerland, you have yodeling. And, you know, it's, you're never going to meet a Swiss person that can yodel, you know. But it's, it, it's, you know, that's just a natural thing you think about the world. I mean, and, and a lot of them are negative. I mean, it's like, you know, people, so many people who go to Chinese restaurants, they, they play on stereotypes about oh, what are they eating, cat or dog. And it's just the shit of the world and it's so it's not unique uh, what is like the more extreme is the fact that there's been this history of, of, of Hollywood within you know a vile representation I mean there's a clip in a comedy Son of Paleface starring Bob, Bob Hope where he's walking along chatting to this guy and he's like oh my daddy loved killing Indians he didn't consider his day complete until at least let at least one redskin bit the dust just as he strikes a match on what he thinks is a cigar Indian, but it's a real Indian that's standing there. And it's like, and that's in a comedy. And you think about it, that it, you know, it is referencing genocide, something that was part of a genocide. And you can't imagine that pretty much with any other culture. And, and even today, they'll screen Son of Paleface and nobody will think twice about that clip. So, you know, I, I get that part, but but it's but I think it's when it's in the, the framework of entertainment. Because did you ever see Shanghai Noon? Yeah. What did you think of that in terms of depiction of Indians in it? I thought that was badass. That was cool, man. Yeah. Throwing the tomahawk, you know. <laughs> yeah. Those dudes were ninjas. They weren't Indians. They were ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> they were fucking ninjas, man. But, were, but, but what, yeah, but the, th <laughs> the thing about that movie, and the reason I have no issue with it, was because everything was in the rules of the movie and the world of the movie. And so, okay, there's Indians they in the next. But, so. but they created characters there. Yeah. They created characters that were playing these roles and, as Indians. Yeah. They and were they, just they were, But they were funny and it was it was that thing where the, there was a real sense of life and community and whatever else and but you know even I mean the action scene was 
was more like a Hong Kong action scene because it's Jackie Chan. So that's the rules of the movie. The rules of the movie is it's a Jackie Chan movie. So that's all fine. But the other thing is that every single character in that movie was a stereotype. Yeah. Although Owen Wilson was a subversion of the cowboy sort of bandit stereotype, which was funny in itself. But, you know, all the cowboys, all those other characters, all the Chinese were played on, were playing into a comedic stereotype. So to get your knickers in the twist about something like that for me is saying, no, the film was being consistent and everyone's being treated the same. If anything, I think the Indians came out of it the best, in a sense, because, you know, because in a sense, Jackie was the butt of the jokes within the scenes. Um, and so, I mean, I think that's the thing. It's just, you know, it's picking your fights over the things that are really vile. And apart from anything else, people getting so much time getting their knickers in a twist about it. There's so much serious shit going on in Indian country yeah. that to give a shit about what Johnny Depp's wearing today is like, you know, to give it so much attention. It's like, who cares? <laughs> but the other thing is, $200 million movie. Name one Indian actor, American Indian actor, who could, you know, bankroll a $200 million movie. Graham Green. Shit. <laughs> West, <laughs> West Studios. A $200 million movie? Nobody. I could, shit. Yeah, well, I'm getting, I could. In six months. I could. Come on, give it, be realistic. Six months from now, but not now. Put me up on the big screen of Leo and fucking. <laughs> but you Let's know. Let's get Leonardo DiCaprio to play Canton Urban here. Come on. <laughs> you know, Leo. Man, they made him look go they, they made him look golden. Uh, uh, that, uh, what's that? Edgar Hoover. The, yeah, Edgar, yeah, 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 yeah. They made him look old as shit. But Ken ain't even that old in the movie, so you know. No, really, not. realistically, Leonardo uh, DiCaprio's like 35. Ken's and, uh, like 45. And, uh, yeah, but I have to say the, the the funny thing about Kent, and this is for for you if you're listening, one of the things I admire about him is the more he talks about different actors to play Kent, the more handsome they get. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, Brad Pitt played. <laughs> and the younger some of them. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs>